Hello everyone. Uh, I'm just going to talk about our DSS, SSS, and how they have turned themselves into toothless bulldogs that are being used by politicians and their wives as politicians and people with little power or, or any kind of person with some sort of uh, authority or anything, using them indiscriminately to, to, to oppress and suppress citizens. The DSS also known as SSS, State Security Service, right? They also call themselves Department of State uh, Security Service or something like that. They really need to be ashamed of themselves. Absolute shame. The president of the commander in chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria was threatened by terrorists when they did the jailbreak. DSS was nowhere to be found. SSS was nowhere to be found. They were, they were hiding like cowards that they usually are, hiding in whatever place they were in. They were nowhere. A whole president of Nigeria was threatened by some terrorists when they did that jailbreak. They said they would, they would come and carry our own president. We didn't see the might of SSS. We didn't see the might of DSS. It is when it comes to carrying little children in their school, ch people like Aminu, that's when they will flex. That's when they will stand up. Or when they want to oppress citizens with their guns. The other day, I went to uh, I went to an, an, an event we were supposed to go in. There were some uh, uh, DSS people who were in uh, guarding the place. I'm not going to mention the name of the place. And then these guys were for me, you know. To, they asked people to stand outside, and I was quietly standing. They even, one time, someone asked me to go in. I was like, no, for me, a rule is a rule. If anything is being done, let everybody be given equal treatment. We were sitting down there, gingerly. One of those, I think he, that person used to be a minister or something like that. Though I'm very poor with remembering all of these uh, people. Came in and they allowed him in. And I went to that like, ah, what's happening? If you're asking everybody to stand, everybody needs to stand. I was like, then if you're allowing people to go in, then you need to allow people in. The next thing, this guy started talking and I said, guys, I said, that guy, calm down. And because you carry a gun. What do you want to do? You go here, say terrorists, they here, now kidnappers, they here. Now you go drop this gun, go hide. Shamelessly hide. Wait till you want you can't go, you go keep it and and wait till wait till that come. You know, of course, you're already dead in Nigeria. That's the only thing they know how to do, how to oppress people. But the real activities, the real function that they that they were set up to do, they are nowhere to be found. Let me read that roles and function of SSS. The state security service is enabled to perform its roles and function chiefly by the instrument SSS number no. 1 of 1999 made pursuant to section 6 of the National Security Agency's NSA Act 1986 CAP 74 LFN 2004. It is worth not, not, I'm reading this from their website. Too. It is not, uh, worthy to note that over the years, other decrees, decree number no. 16 of 1976 and decree 19 of 1986, charge the agency with roles and functions that are very similar in content. These include, but not limited to the following. A. Prevention and detection of any crime against the internal security of Nigeria. SSS. Shameless as shameless can be. You've, you, you allowed yourself to be toothless bulldog that are being used by anybody in power, any party in power, anybody, wife or whatever, relative or son or child or whatever of anybody in power. Yet, the whole of Nigeria, Nigeria is a crime scene itself because every day people are doing different things that are a crime. In, in, in our country, you're not able to do anything. You're, you're supposed to prevent and detect of any crime against internal security of Nigeria. We are kidnapped, we are killed, everything is happening, there's insecurity now, is happening, yet SSS will not focus its energy on combating and battling that insecurity. It's to oppress citizens and be going to school to go and carry, so you carry all your machinery and left Abuja and went to a school to go and pick up a child and, that, and now you're feeling you've done something. You should be ashamed. That's what they call she, she, she. shame. Shame. Not supposed to follow on her body. Small picky. Then you're not packing and you may feeling like what? That you've done something. Where are all those terrorists that are killing us, kidnappers that are kidnapping people? Well, go to the bush and bring them. We will hear you when you do that. People that are affecting the internal security of this country, go and pick them up. We will hear you. But this one you should be ashamed of yourself. B. Protection and prevention of all non-military classified matters concerning internal security of Nigeria. 
Are you doing any of that? Are you protecting and preserving all non-military classified matters? No. You're busy carrying handbags for politicians and their wives. You're busy fighting their war, doing proxy war on their behalf. If somebody says something about them, you go and pick them up. Somebody says that the, fat lady, uh, the first lady has grown fat on the wealth of the poor people and you, and you stood up back your office and somebody actually gave a directive. Whoever your director is, he should be ashamed of himself. Even if they give you that kind of direct, you should be able to look at the first lady and say, Madam, no, this is not part of our duty. But of course, now we have slaves. MOU, MOU, all you do is to be doing uh, people, they'll be using you people, 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 anyhow. They do sa, 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 sa. I don't even blame that. It's not one of you the other day. Somebody sent you to go and carry uh, money and give a girlfriend in a lobby. In a, uh, no, not in a hotel uh, uh, garage. I think that was that's the, the one on, the one that they found that money at. Uh, uh, husband towers, I'll be whatever. All of this nonsense. This is what you do instead of securing Nigeria. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. See, another of your roles, so which does not include going to pick up citizens just because they they they, they say something about a, a first lady, first lady, call first lady. Was she voted into office of a first lady? I don't blame. I don't blame them. See, prevention, detection, and investigation of threats of espionage, subversion, sabotage, terrorism, separatist agitation, intergroup conflicts, economic crimes of national security dimension, and threats to law and order. All over Nigeria, people are paying tax to terrorists, yet we don't have, SSS is nowhere to be found. You just wear your black, wear, wear your, what, what, what is it that they even wear, uh, 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 is it mask? Put their mask, face mask, and they be feeling. See the person be working, he be working, be working, he be carrying body for citizens. Go and carry body for terrorists. Go and carry body for kidnappers. Go and carry body for all of those people that have not allowed us to have peace in Nigeria. When you do that, we will hail you. We will clap for you. We will say chop knuckle. We will give you busa. But the one you are going about oppressing uh, uh, innocent citizens, we will say to you, she, 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 she. What's the next one? Uh, provision of protective security for designated principal government functionaries, sensitive installations, and visiting dignitaries. Is that even that one? I even doing it very well. Now they carry guns, just they kick people all over the place. Kai, 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 kai. We really need good governance in this Nigeria. We need co people with competence, character, capacity. People that know that do not have inferiority complex. People that are not a uh, 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 leadership misrode. They, they found the, themselves in place where they thought they would never be before. And all of a sudden, they will start oppressing and suppressing uh, people all over the place. The fifth one is provision of timely advice to government on all matters of national security interest. Well, are you providing advice? See all of us. We are just sitting there. Everybody sitting duck. Sitting duck. We are all sitting ducks. You are there. All you are doing is busy carrying uh, people all, all, all over the place. Uh, and then such other functions as may from time to time be assigned to. And I'm sure such other functions, the, 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 the thing that set you up was not talking about you going to oppress citizens, pick up citizens, pick up a young boy from school because he did a Facebook post. It's not your mate that, have the, that put out the Facebook. Can't you use your head and bring out something? You're there picking up a little children all over the place. You, you, you're oppressing people. That's all you know how to do. You carry it and then you'll be beating the person. Be beating. Drop that gun and drop that uniform and fight the citizen now. They know will beat the hell out, out of you, you guys. You, 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 you sit down. You, you, you have the authority of the state that people respect you for that. Because of that, people have to obey what you say, listen to you and respect you. And then you're abusing it. You know, at this Nigeria, we're going to get good governance. So, you people think you to do with people like magic. We will have good governance. And all of this nonsense that you people are used to will stop. It will stop. There will be real reform. Where the allegiance of our security agencies will not be to the president and the ruling party and everybody that's attached to it, but to Nigeria and Nigerians and the constitution. Where someone from you, from, from the DSS, the SSS will be able to look at the president and say, Mr. President, that's not what I'm supposed to do. I will not do it. It is your mate that when you have a, is it not a, I think it was Trump that was asking that they should drive him to certain listen. The day they said no. We have, we have strong institutions in this Nigeria. No, 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 the watcher. By the grace of God, we will have that strong institutions. And it goes shock on them. It goes do that like magic. 
Because this Nigeria must work in our lifetime. This Nigeria belongs to all of us. Know some people that think that, oh, because they have access to the wealth and, and, they, and they are looting wealth anyhow, they are packing it and enriching themselves. All of a sudden, they are telling people that people cannot talk. This power is transient. It, you cannot do more than eight years. It's not Nigeria. By the grace of God, you cannot do more than eight years. After eight years, you will leave. Somebody else will be there. And Nigeria will remain by the grace of God. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. When we are no longer here, all that we carry continue that message. This Nigeria, eh? It must work in our lifetime by the grace of God.